Okay, this video will probably also be very short. So it's called the complex conjugate theorem. And it says if you have a zero, so say you have a zero. I don't like the A there. We have too many A's in math. Okay, so zero is A plus BI. And then the book doesn't do this, but I'm going to note that B does not equal zero. So it has an imaginary part, okay? So if you have a zero that's a plus bi, then the conjugate is also a zero. a minus bi is also a zero. So that's really handy. So if you know there's an imaginary part that's a zero, then you know another zero as well, okay? So it's called the complex conjugate theorem. So if you have a a plus bi, where b doesn't equal zero, so there's an imaginary part. If that's a zero, then the conjugate is also a zero.